My name is David Hilbert. I was born on January 23, 1862 in Konigsberg, East Prussia. My father, Otto Hilbert, was a city judge while my mother, Maria Therese Hilbert, was a philosophy and astronomy enthusiast. She was also interested with numbers and shapes. As a child, I was the first of two children and the only boy in the family. When I was young, I not only had an interest in mathematics, but also language. I set aside language to work on my math and science skills. My mother shaped my childhood with her interest in numbers and science, and this influenced me at a very young age, showing me what I excelled in. After I graduated from Wilhelm Gymnasium, I went to the University of Konigsberg where I met my wife, Kathy Jeroche. Later on, we had a son named Franz, who was ill for his entire life. While I was enrolled in the University of Konigsberg, I made a couple of major tours to Europe, specifically to meet with some important scientists of my time. In order to go to additional lectures and classes, I enrolled myself in the University of Heidelberg. Because of my dedication, hard work, and interest in math and science, I was awarded a doctorate in philosophy from the University of Konigsberg. My earliest mathematics work was in the theory of algebraic invariance. I conducted research in the algebraic number field theory, axiomatics of geometry and mathematics, integral equations, the invariant theory, and mathematical physics. In 1891, I founded the Fractal Space Filling Curve, which is named after me, the Hilbert Curve. I created a more accurate system of Euclidean geometry than Euclid himself. In my speech, The Problems of Mathematics, I showed 10 of my unresolved problems to the brightest minds in the world. Some of my unresolved problems still remain unresolved to this day. One of my most known discoveries was discovering the difference between mathematics and metamathematics. Because of my contributions and discoveries in the mathematics and science fields, I got offered a full-time job as professor of Göttingen University, which was the university that shaped many famous mathematicians such as Carl Gauss. I contributed hugely in the development of modern algebra and geometry. As a professor, I was known for my clear and simple lectures to all my students. Usually I bicycled to lectures, or in the winter months I would ski right into the lecture hall, most of the time unprepared to give an actual lecture. At the end of 1930, I was forced to retire from my teaching position at Göttingen University due to Adolf Hitler. No one of the Jewish descent were allowed to teach in schools or universities. After I left Göttingen University, the study of mathematics was never the same for students at that school. I died of an unknown cause at the age of 81 on February 14, 1943 in Göttingen, Germany, and I am still a legacy to this day.